Alright, so as you guys might have seen from the in-game news, the Dokkan Festival exclusive STR Videl is officially coming to the global side of the game. She's going to be our first major banner after the 6th anniversary. And uh, in today's video, I want to quickly go over her banner, her animations, her unit details of course, the side unit on her banner, her new category, and all that stuff to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to try and pull her once her banner comes out, or maybe skip it and save for something else in the future. Now, the funny thing is, when this preview you see right now came out on JP a few months ago, I think a lot of JP players assumed that it was a joke because nobody was expecting a Dokkan Fest Videl, but also the timing was kind of weird because um, it was the end of March, so very close to April Fool's Day, and most people just assumed that it was an April Fool's prank, right? But as it turns out, it's not a joke. Medell is very real, and she's actually really, really good. So uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And before we talk about the banner or the units, Let's quickly pop over to the official Dokkan Twitter page here and we're gonna watch the animations for both the Videl as well as the side uh, Tech Gohan. Or sorry, Tech Go 10. Alright, so let me just pause my music real quick. I'm gonna throw on some headphones and here we go. Alright, so there you go, animations for the uh, new Goten as well as Videl, and um, overall, I would say there are some nice animations, man. Especially, you know, for like this Goten who's not a Dokkan Fest unit, but also the Videl, like, let's be honest, guys. I mean, she's clearly not a super powerful character. She's not like a super exciting character if you will i mean obviously there are big videl fans out there so i'm not saying like some people might not be super hyped for a videl but you know relative to ultra instinct goku or super saiyan blue gogeta or whatever um she's like not super exciting right but i do appreciate that you know they're giving love they're showing love to some of these less you know OP characters I guess less uh, popular characters and the animations are well done for sure so and also dude I love the active skill the active skill is great so yeah man super cool animations nothing to complain about now let's move on to the uh, actual banner which we'll most likely see in a couple days once it drops on global and that would be this banner right here and these are the featured units that we can expect to see Obviously, there could be some changes, there could be some differences, like maybe one or two units will be swapped out, but for the most part, they don't like to, you know, change these banners too much, so I would say 
I mean, none of these guys have really been featured recently on Global, have they? Unless I'm not remembering correctly, but I don't think anyone here was recently featured. So yeah, it's probably going to be exactly the same banner. So of course we have the new Videl, we have the uh, new Goten, and then there is the transforming Bojack, the transforming Gohan, the Masu, Trunks, and the Goku Black. And um, yeah, I I'd say like six out of the seven units here are quite good still. Is Goku Black? I mean, he's seen better days, <laughs> for sure. Uh, not completely useless, but definitely not great at this point. But Trunks is awesome, especially for longer events. And also, of course, he's a really good super leader. And then, uh, obviously, this uh, this Gohan. I, for a second, I forgot his name. I don't know why. This Gohan is still extremely, extremely powerful. And uh, this Bojack, very good. This new Goten, surprisingly good. And Videl, we'll get to her. But like I said before, man, she is fantastic. And I don't even think that does her justice because she is just... She's very overpowered um, in all seriousness. Okay, so that's the banner. And um, I believe in the past I gave it like a 7 out of 10. Uh, I'll probably still stick to my 7 out of 10 because even though there are some really good units, there are also some older units here. And I feel like the average player or maybe like someone who's played the game for... A little while now we'll probably have at least one copy of you know each of these guys maybe not Bojack because he is still relatively new but uh, for a lot of people yeah these guys are definitely reruns so uh, I mean obviously every banner has reruns but the point is like some of these guys are really old right so um, I think 7 out of 10 is a good rating for this banner you know not too good but also not terrible now popping over to Videl herself uh, let's start with her leader skill. It's Defenders of Justice or Peppy Gals Category Q plus 4. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%. So obviously, amazing boost for a leader. Not only Q plus 4, which is one more than the average, but also 170% across the board for all three stats, right? And uh, let's uh, actually go over to her new category here, Defenders of Justice. So it consists of characters who fight for justice, and the only, you know, real leader right now would be the new Videl. Uh, we do have a few sub-leads in the uh, Saiyan Man here, as well as the Saiyan Man and Videl. But um, obviously, if you're running the category, you want to have Videl as the leader. But, man, I gotta, I gotta be honest, like, this, this category is kind of rough. It, it, it's kind of rough. Um, I mean, I, I'll give you guys... A quick look through a quick scroll here you guys can you know take a look for yourself obviously there are some good units as with every category but um, it's not really that impressive and I don't know man like I'm just not really that blown away by it it's also not a big category so you don't have that many options in terms of you know team building um, you could definitely like throw together a pretty solid team but it's just, you know, it, it's, it's whatever, man. It feels kind of like a throwaway category, if you will. Now let's move on to her other details for her super attack. She raises attack and causes, sorry, raises attack, raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And then her unit super attack, which is uh, activated when there's an ally whose name includes Gohan Teen, Ultimate Gohan, or Great Saiyan Man on the team. Greatly raises the attack, raises defense for one turn, uh, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And then her passive is attack and defense plus 158%, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks before attacking, and then plus an additional attack plus 58% when attacking, attacks effective against all types within the same turn after evading an attack, plus an additional attack plus 58% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Launches an additional super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 58%, and high chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn. So, what I love about this unit is, first of all, she's getting so much attack on her passive. She's also infinitely stacking 
I mean, it depends on whether or not you're doing the unit super attack, but if you have the unit super attack, then she's actually raising her attack by 50% with every single super. She also gets a little bit more defense, but the main thing is greatly raising attack every single super. She also gets two to three supers her turn, so potentially she could be raising her attack by 50% up to three times every turn, which is insane. And uh, of course, she's also great defensively because she does have the high chance of evading attacks before attacking. So as a slot one unit, she is going to be dodging a lot. And then as a slot three unit, she also has a high chance to dodge, even though she's not going to hit as hard. But um, very versatile in that sense where she's not only you know, a good second slot or third slot unit, but she's fine in the first slot as well, which is kind of rare these days because a lot of units are just not good defensively in that first slot, right? And um, she also has an active skill, which can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Gohan Teen, Ultimate Gohan, or Great Saiyan Man on the team starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. And it gives her attack plus 20% and defense minus 20% in battle. And this will last for the rest of the event or stage that you're doing. And uh, it's also where her costume change mechanic comes in. So basically, when you pop her active skill, She'll go from the pigtail Videl or the long hair Videl to the short hair Videl for the rest of the event. And her links are Courage, Money, 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 Cold Judgment, Infighter, Champion Strength, Battlefield Diva, and Fierce Battle. And her categories are Peppy Gals, Majin Buu Saga, Earthlings, and Defenders of Justice. And we also have some calculations here for her passive. So her additional boosts of attack plus 58% when attacking and after receiving an attack are calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of attack plus 457.28% as the first attacker in a turn and attack plus 399.28% as the third attacker in a turn. So you wonder why she's so insane, you wonder why she is going to hit so hard. It's because of this and also because of, uh, of this and of course the additional supers. Um, She's just a really crazy unit, man. I know it's Videl. I know it's not a character that a lot of people were necessarily looking forward to. But you gotta give her the respect she deserves. Like, she is, like, as a unit, just, like, purely from a performance standpoint, one of the best units in the game. No question. One of the best units in the game. And, um... I guess that's all there really is to talk about. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that her stats are quite low as far as the attack goes at least, like her attack stat is actually really really low for a Dokkan Fest unit, but I think they purposely did it that way just because if she had like a normal Dokkan Fest unit's attack stat, she would have been way way too busted. Like imagine this Videl with 17,000 attack and the same passive and greatly raising attack with every super, like, she just would have been way too busted, you know, like, way, way too broken, so, um, I understand why they kind of nerfed her attack stat a bit, but it's still good enough, and, um, her HP and defense are good, so, uh, there you have it, guys, that is the Videl, uh, not much more I can say about her, except for the fact that she is insane, although, lacking categories, right, and also, her new category is kind of mediocre, so the only reason you would, I mean, at least most people would want to summon for her, at least from a leader skill perspective, would be for the Peppy Gals side of things, right? So, uh, yeah, that is the Videl for you. Now we're going to quickly pop over to the Goten's details. Leader skill is Gifted Warriors, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%. And then gifted warriors category allies key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40%. His links are innocent, Saiyan warrior race, super saiyan, saiyan lineage, kamehameha, budding warrior, and fierce battle. And categories are World Tournament, Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, Youth, Siblings Bond, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, and Gifted Warriors. And his additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 355% 
after five attacks. So yeah, there's the Goten, really, really solid. And that is uh, pretty much the preview, guys. I mean, we got the Videl, we got the Goten. You guys saw the banner, not too bad, not great though. And uh, you also saw the animations, which were pretty good. I, I think they're pretty good. You know, nothing that really blew me away, nothing that makes me, you know, go crazy, but there were some nice animations. So hopefully at this point, you guys have received enough information to decide for yourself whether or not you want to, you know, summon for Videl or skip her banner. But um, if you want to hear my recommendation, you know, what I think about it, uh, I do think as busted as she is, as great of a unit as she is, most people should skip this banner, honestly. Um, I think at least the free to play players should definitely heavily consider skipping it. And uh, people who spend lightly, maybe drop a couple multis, but still should you know, save most of your stones. Because obviously we are very close to the worldwide celebration, which is coming out in less than a month at this point, right? Like, I believe last year the units dropped on, is it the 29th or beginning of September? Either way, it's less than a month away, so um, we should be hearing news relatively soon, maybe some leaks in the next week or so. That's gonna be exciting, but regardless of what the you know actual characters end up being for this year's worldwide celebration, I can guarantee you that the LRs will be better than Videl, you know, like they're gonna be really, really powerful. So um, even though it might be kind of tempting to go for Videl because of how good she is, uh, I think, yeah, both people should try to resist the temptation. And of course, if you don't care about Videl at all, like she doesn't interest you as a character and you don't care how good she is, then it's easy, right? You don't have to really think about it too much. Just skip the banner and don't worry about it. But I know that there are some people out there, myself included, that are definitely intrigued by this banner. And I'm definitely going to be summoning, but I'm probably going to go really light. You know, like I usually spend between 1,500 to 2,000 stones for a new banner. And for her, I'll probably do like 500 to 1,000 and then call it a day. I went really hard on the anniversary and it just doesn't make any sense for me either to go too crazy, you know, on Videl's banner. And uh, from the perspective of like the average player, she's not gonna help you that much compared to new Dokkan Fest LRs. You know, and also the Worldwide Celebration LR banners are usually really, really good as well with a lot of like Dokkan Fest LRs and solid Dokkan Fest units, so um, yeah, man, I definitely recommend a skip for most people, but if you got a summon, then don't spend too much, right? Do like two to three multis. Uh, maybe there will be discounts. That's also a possibility. Obviously, we don't know for sure, but if there's like the three step discount with a guaranteed uh, featured unit for the last step, then that's definitely something that I think people should do just because it gives you a good chance to get Videl, right? But um, outside of that, yeah, you should probably try to stay away from this one. Okay, and I know I spent like the last 15, 20 minutes hyping up Videl as this great unit, and she is, but her categories are limited, you know, and her leader skill, while interesting, is not crazy, you know, like Pippi Gals is good, but it's not like a top five category in the game by any means. And uh, yeah, the Worldwide Celebration should just be the priority right now for everyone, okay? So that's my recommendation. That is gonna be today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys uh, plan to do with your stones in terms of the Videl banner. Are you gonna be summoning? How many stones do you wanna spend? And uh, yeah, that's all from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the TAM video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. 
signing out.